The Battle of Dornoch was a significant event in the Jacobite Rising of 1745 in Scotland. Although it is recorded in history as a battle, there was no actual fighting between the two sides. Instead, a large rebel Jacobite force advanced on a position held by a force loyal to the British Hanoverian government who were taken by surprise and forced into a retreat. The background to the Battle of Dornoch was the ongoing conflict between the Jacobites, who were supporters of the exiled Stuart dynasty, and the British Hanoverian government. Lord Loudon, a supporter of the government, was at Dornoch when the Jacobites began their advance. Despite warning signs, Lord Loudon concluded that the Jacobites would attack from the west, across the River Shin, and that his eastern flank was secured by the Royal Navy. The rebel advance began early in the morning of March 20 as the Jacobite Highlanders prepared to embark from the sands near Tain, across the Dornoch Firth from Dornoch. The first division to embark consisted of the Clan Fraser of Lovett and Clan Gregor. They landed at Meikle Ferry and immediately marched towards Skibbo Castle in an attempt to capture Duncan Forbes, Lord Culloden, and Norman MacLeod, Laird of MacLeod. The alarm was raised in Dornoch and Lord Loudon's regiment beat to arms, but Major Mackenzie of the regiment retired without firing, and the Jacobites continued their advance towards Dornoch. The government forces were eventually captured, with 300 of Lord Loudon's regiment taken prisoner and the majority, 900 in all, escaping to the Isle of Skye. Captain Alexander Mackay and about 160 men of the regiment managed to escape to the north, while Lord Loudon himself decided to abandon his position and divide his troops. The rebels did not press their attack and by March 23, the Duke of Perth had returned to Inverness and the Earl of Cromarty was left in command at Dornoch. The Battle of Dornoch was a significant moment in the Jacobite Rising of 1745, marking a turning point in the conflict. Although the government forces were eventually captured, the majority managed to escape to safety, and Lord Loudon was able to regroup and continue the fight against the Jacobites.